Hey, my name is Brian at 35mm uh, Pro Photo Lab. This is my friend Alice. We're going to do a quick photo shoot with the Big Shot. This is what the results are going to be. And this is the camera I'll use to do it. And I'll show you everything I know. I like the hair down. That's, that's really pretty. I like, um, let's, just do hand, let's just do hands down. Just like, uh, yeah, just boom. That's it. That's the shot. If I'm gonna adjust anything, I might just take it up just a smidge. All right, cool, gorgeous. Love that look, love that look. Eyes on me, ready, one, two, chin down just a smidge. Love that, one, two, three, two. See that, that didn't work. I had some that were blown already. Um, so uh, here, here's, here's one for you guys. So this is uh, a Sylvania Magic Cube. A little bit about these magic cubes, they have a chemical reaction inside that are triggered by uh, a little little notch that comes up whenever you hit it. I don't know if you can see it. it hits it and basically is going to give us a, um, a flash. They're called blue dot because they have little blue dots on the front and when the flash is done, then, the, then there's, there's not going to be a dot anymore. That's how you know which ones to use. So go like that. We'll do that one more time. And even though you saw me shooting, I know that the film is probably still going to be good. All right. Gorgeous. Ready? One, two, three, two. Bang. That's it. And then we tear the tab. And we just slowly pull it out. It's going through the rollers. And that's it. We put it in the oven. I tell people this is the best plastic camera that you can get. Um, of course, uh, the, pack, the pack film is getting harder and harder to uh, find. And it, it is expensive, but where else can you get a picture in 60 seconds, you know? This camera gives a look that no other camera can do. Uh, you can simulate it, but it, it's just not the same. 220 miller, uh, millimeter focal length, um, it uses a plastic lens, where all the, the hype today are glass lenses, Zeiss lenses, this is a plastic lens. Um, stops down to about F45, I wanna say, somewhere in the middle, it's around F29. But yeah, man, that's it, that's the magic right there. And three. Now, if you watched the show, which you should have watched, this is Alice, and you saw that my flat, my my uh, that I, that not only did I open the back, but I I shot with flash shoes that didn't fire. So that just says, hey, you could just you could still use it. So yeah, that's proof. Dark slide out. I'm that confident. Uh, right there. And then. This is a this is a shield, uh, so it doesn't hit light. And then just want to kind of like let it develop without seeing the light too long. Boom! We'll stick it right there. Boom! Oh, wow! Definitely. I love it. Yeah, yeah. that's that's Thank pretty you. sick. Sue Hall's gonna go crazy over this. I dig it, I dig it. One, two, three, two. How come I can't get it to turn like that? What if you held one, like covered your eye or something like that? Yeah, let's do it. Right there, love that, love that, love that. And one. We'll let those cook. And uh, let's change, dude. Yeah. I think we're good.
why don't we do a big shot just like that? A little more sultry. Love it, love it, love it. One, two, bang. That's it. Two minutes in the cooker. Okay, so you might want to come in from this angle. Love that. So, people ask me, what am I gonna do when pack film's gone? Like, I'm a Polaroid fanatic. Um, I've, got, I've got some stock left. Stop, they stopped making it in uh, 2018. You can still find some packs up until 2019. Yes, it is expensive, but I, I love um, instant film. I probably, I'll probably go to this, you know, or even Instax in the most creative way that I can find. So to me, this is, this is like super cool. I'm, I'm good with something like this. It's different, you know? And it's done. I don't have to do any editing. enjoyed everything that I learned here with Brian. He was amazing. He really helped me through my freezing points behind the camera and also just helping me learn more about what the camera actually does because there was no editing, there was no filters or anything and every picture came out so flawless. I was so happy. It's very it's a very great experience. Film versus digital is very different. I definitely feel that the film part of it just is more memorable because it comes out right away. You have it already. You see what you need to work on or what is perfect already. And within digital, you get so lost in being able to take a million that it's just, there's no, worth to it in my eyes. Everybody wants a good picture and at this point I took three pictures and they all came out amazing. The options you get lost in, I mean you, you experience the same thing at a grocery store, you know, so just being able to be here and have these amazing iconic shots. <laughs> You're crazy man. My wife is gonna love this stuff. This film is forever.